Today, we are going to be balancing the equation of AgNO3 plus Na2CO3, which will produce or yield Ag2CO3 plus NaNO3. Okay, so I wrote down our chart and all of the elements or the polyatomics that I see on both the left and the right side. Remember, the polyatomic NO3 is nitrate and the polyatomic CO3 is carbonate. Now all we have to do is just write down how many we have of each. Starting from the left-hand side, I see that I have one Ag, right? There was no coefficient here, right? So it's just a one. I have one Ag. Since I'm grouping together the polyatomic nitrate, NO3, the three is included in the polyatomic. So there was no parentheses. So that's secretly telling me that there was one nitrate. I have a two over here, which tells me that I have two sodiums, two NAs. And then the same thing for the, the polyatomic carbonate, CO3. The three is included in the polyatomic. I don't see any parentheses, which means that there is just one carbonate. Coming over to the product side, now I see that I have two AGs. So I'm going to put a two here. The three is part of the carbonate, but there was no parentheses. So that means that there is one carbonate. And then I have one sodium. There was no coefficient, so there's a one here. Or, sorry, there was no subscript, so there's a one here. And then for the nitrate, the whole polyatomic is NO3. There was no parentheses here, so that's telling me that there's a one here. It doesn't matter which one you balance first. Pick the one that's easiest for you. I'm going to go with the silver, the AG. You always bring the lowest number to the highest number by multiplication. One times what will get you to two? One times two. And whatever number that you stated is the coefficient that you put in front of the element that you're trying to balance. So I'm going to put a two here. But you got to be fair. Whatever number that you put as a coefficient, you have to distribute to all of the elements and the polyatomics of that compound. So in this case, I have to distribute the two to the AG and to the nitrate, the NO3. So I have two AGs, but now I have two nitrates, right? There was one nitrate, now there's a total of two. Okay, now let's see what I can balance. Well, the silvers are good. Maybe let's balance the nitrates, or probably what's easier is let's balance the sodium. One times what will get you to two? One times two. That number is the coefficient that you add for what element you're talking about. So I'm going to put a two here. And now, just like we did before, you got to be fair. This gets distributed to the element sodium and the polyatomic nitrate. So I have two sodiums, but now I have two total nitrates. So two of those. But if I look back now, all of my elements and my compounds or my polyatomics are all balanced. So this one's done. The balanced equation would be two silver nitrates, AgNO3s, plus one sodium carbonate, Na2CO3, and that will produce one Ag2CO3 plus two NaNO3s. Thank you so much for viewing this video. I hope that it helped. If it did, press the like button and subscribe to the channel for more chem help. And we also have physics and math videos for you guys as well. So go check the channel out. Thank you so much. And I hope you have a great day. See you next time. Bye-bye.